Last episode, the land of Lemongreb continued to get wasted off the map by the Alliance Our Union and the AI Nation of Great Ichacus, which is a dumb name, but okay, resulting in many losses of the land of Lemongreb's royal bloodline, which used to run thick throughout Patverse, now being reduced to one member, who is only a mere citizen with no power of his own. <laughs> sucker. Leaving the nations the Northmen, Hoxus, and the Great Ichacus to hold and control most of the cities across Patverse, until the Hoxus began to fall apart, having two new dwarvish nations rebel out of the old Hoxus colonies in the former Bubblegum Kingdom. Kingdom territory. Meanwhile, the Green Lode has colonized a little bit more, attempting to rebuild what they once had. Oh, it's so tiny. And the orcs continue to be distracted with constant civil wars, cause anger issues. This week's vote shows peace for the Alliance Our Union, letting the new Dwarvish nations to be independent from their mother nation, the Hoxus. The Green Lode being aggressive, even when they have no right to be, attempted to sabotage the Northmen with their attempt failing. While the Swarm tried again to re-emerge, however their attempt also failed. But never fear, the Lost Souls have cursed the world once again. Or maybe always fear, this time with an earthquake that was set to destroy a capital of a random nation. Unfortunately for the elves, they can't catch a break, they were chosen to shake their feet. Also, last video I said I would be making a bonus vote for everybody regarding the plague. The total votes were 649 to get rid of it, and 286 to keep it, so the plague will disappear. Which is probably a good thing, otherwise the series might have ended this episode. And that would have been awkward. Big oversight by me. Uh, next season, I'll do it different. <laughs> Roll the intro. The poor green load. Got the curse from the lost souls, dude. The weakest one, really. Let's target the center of it. Oh, holy balls, dude. Just straight mountain through the middle of their town. Destroyed pretty much everything other than whatever this cool building is up here. Oh, they lost like half of the- That's such a- That was like worst case scenario for an earthquake. <laughs> That's so bad! Anyways, besides them, the Northmen and the Hoxes declared peace. There we go. Look at that. The war has ended. Wild freedom. Screams an American. And then I put up a vote since last video to see if you guys wanted to keep the plague or not. And the vote results means no. Get rid of the plague. So I turned on the plague map, which means we can kind of see where the plague is based off of these tiles. And I'm just gonna go through and spread the divine light and see now this, this town is plague free. Wow! So I'm just gonna go over the map and just get rid of it. Oh, by the way, look at all these guys. Look at this. Look how many flame dudes are here. There are so many of them. These are all little flame people. We got flame horses, flame snakes, flame flames, flame people. Where's the flame snail slug? There's the slug. <laughs> <laughs> all the red dots. We're lucky this didn't happen over on the mainland. It almost did, but the orcs kind of put it out. What was I doing? Oh yeah, getting rid of the, the plague. Hopefully I don't miss one, because <laughs> otherwise it would spread again. And just like that, the infected is still 377? Or is that because time hasn't moved? Also, people from the Discord on the land of Lemon Grab wanted me to name the last uh, lemon dude. <laughs> Instead of Kushibir, he will be named Jack the Brave. <laughs> he's basically a celebrity at this point. And now he's healthy. Yay! When I click unpause, let's see if the infected it goes down to zero. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so what else is going on in this crazy world? It looks like the orcs are at war, or rather the Utop band is still at their war against their rebellion, <laughs> the, these two rebellion nations. The Rid Brothers is definitely getting a lot of territories out of this. And it looks like the Utop band has actually expanded quite north. Whoa. And I think the world population is about to boom right now. It's a, uh, oh yeah, look at that go. It was below 2000 a little bit ago. Oh yeah, it's spiking all right. Oh yeah. Oh, it's going up. The Northman population especially is going to be booming. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at it go. The poor elves dude getting kicked out of their jungle. Literally, the lost souls curse them to the point where they, <laughs> they have a huge wall now in between them and their homeland. So looking at the clans, we have House Loki, House Shrek, House Lemon Grab, and House Rock left. And each of them have 14 people, which is quite a bit, except for House Lemon Grab, who only has one, which of course, Jack the Brave. And I'm going to star this guy just because I want to know what happens to him. He's only 23, which means he has, he's a, he's a young fella. He has seven children. I wonder if only the children of people who are leaders join the clan. So since he's a citizen, where is he? Where does Jack the brave reside let's go to him oh he moved oh he moved for sure last video he was not here and what well, except where's he going no way last video i swear he was over here what are citizens able to move cities in this game i know they're able to colonize but this is not a colonized city weird dude weird and it looks like this little doofus over here is playing in a rebellion is this him it is what has he got the old cud 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 gal oh he's unstoppable then he's got the old cut gal <laughs> Why is the green load planning war? Why? You're so weak. How is there two of them? Oh, no, this is human. They're, they're both the same green. Who are you planning war against? The Rid Brothers? Okay, uh, I think this is the green load's last episode. 
Uh, just just a small prediction. This is the Red Brothers. <laughs> this orcish nation. I mean, they do only have 140 population. Um, how much military do they have? Wait, because they're in a war. They have zero out of zero army. <gasps> the elves making a clutch move, maybe, possibly, because they are distracted right now against the Utop band. Although the Utop band is definitely about to perish. This new dwarvish nation is planning to join our union, which is actually great. Oh, then the green human nation, the great Ikagis, they're going to war against the Red Brothers as well. So between both of them, the green load might actually actually be fine maybe because if they can clear out some of these territories and then the green load can expand who knows maybe it's a green load comeback with the help of great Ikagus, they should be fine yeah number two on the leaderboard i mean then they're even number three a wild mage has appeared out of nowhere and it's just burning down this poor little village all the farmland oh oh whoa whoa oh he teleported he's over at the hoxus now the northman has declared war on the great Sha. what the heck is the great Sha? oh oh it's the rebellion the man did it is he the king with his uh stick oh now he is the defender of pabbage Whoa! The man remembers Pableon. For Pableon, this man says, the now forgotten empire. That's wild. Okay. I don't think they're going to survive, but who knows? He's running in here to slap some children. Kill them. Destroy them. Where's he going? He's passing all the victims. Where is he going? Dude, this man's on a whole journey. <laughs> Oh, where's he going? Man just casually ran three miles. To what? Stand there? Do something. Now what is he doing? Is he building a road? Look at that. He's building a road. What a lad. Honestly. What a great king. I'd vote for him. Oh, whoa. They took over Pavlion. Or what? What? What's, uh, yeah, Pavlion. Which means the Northman's capital is now in the Wamabe. This is wild because the king of this, his clan is the Northman, which means it's literally just House Loki fighting House Loki. So, like, its clan is probably going to lose some members. Yeah, it's already down to 13. It's lost one. By fighting itself. And it looks like the Green Lode and the Great Ick has actually begun war with the Rid Brothers, and I wonder how that's panning out. The Green Lode's got an army down here fighting some orcs, which the orcs only have an army of two, but then again, all the citizens join in and the elves are just not strong enough. No! I think the Green Lode just lost their entire military. Oh no, they got two soldiers up north. Oh, they got eight more running down here. Unless this is Great Ikagus. This is. Th these are humans. They should do a little bit better than the elves. <laughs> I can't imagine declaring war when your city had just a mountain range pop up in the middle of it. Oh, the new age! Whoa! Oh, it's getting dark. It's getting really dark. It's year 128, and the age of dark just begun. This is... It looks really cool, but I wonder if it's too hard for you guys to see. There we go. I put it to 50%. That should be much better. Still looks dark as crap, but you guys should be able to see a little bit more. The map looks so much crazier now with all the lines and the icons being easier to see. What the heck is... Arako? What? What is this? Is this another rebellion? It totally is. It's also rebelling from the Northmen, I think. Which is still, by the way, in an alliance with the Hoxus and the new Dwarvish nation. Which means that the Hoxus, uh, yeah, they're sending over soldiers. Look at this, they got a whole military running over. Run, fellas, run! You gotta hurry, the Northmen's getting destroyed. <laughs> They're getting absolutely whooped. Lucky for the Green Lode, it looks like the Great Ikigus has multiple armies moving down to the Rid Brothers to try and destroy them. Although this town wasn't so lucky. No, no, the Green Lode, they're dying. <laughs> no, the orcs are just too strong, dude. Hopefully the Great Ikigus is strong enough to push the orcs back a little bit. Because the Green, because the Green Lode's definitely not going to do it. <gasps> no, what? What? No, I think House Lemon Crab died. When did he die? Un pause unpause unpause pause i mean <laughs> world history your favorite jack the brave was slain by hachuchi what locate on map where no it's because they were at war he lived here oh no he must have fought in the rebellion and one of the northmen members killed them that's horrible which means that oh that means lemon grab is eliminated they're not on the map holy balls dude they're gone another empire falls rest in peace is the land of lemon grab that's rough dude which means we're down to three the northmen the orcs and the dwarves and the green load but uh you know they're a ticking time bomb at this point <laughs> who knows maybe they'll survive i guess i should give credit where it's due i think these human houses right here are the last resemblance of the bubblegum kingdom that's rough dude i don't see any other human made rubble except for this that's one if i cut the tree down we could see it oh look at that look at this little dude this is a human i think his mood is happy that's good he's also attractive dang son this man's fine he's got some sharp pixels if you know what i mean oh this green load village was actually destroyed they still have this one kind of what is the is there an orc in here he's killing a child um while this man with a leaf around his genitals is fighting him oh they got a giant on him will he die this guy's got all sorts of leather armor legendary bloody pumps <laughs> he's got his pumps dude he's got his, he has 38 kills this man's insane 820 health he is not gonna die this man is not gonna die he's gonna take out this entire elvish nation just by himself how does he have that much health that's so ridiculous i guess because it's what he's level seven that's insane the man does almost 38 damage per swing critical chance 97 percent he gets a crit every single time he hits 
hit somebody. That's so wild. The poor green load. What about this dude? This dude's not as crazy, but still 480 health with the annihilator. 28 kills himself. Jeez, dude. The poor green load. They're just getting bullied. But then again, they were the ones to aggress on the <laughs> on the Rid brothers. No, dude, even their capital. What? But here comes a ton of great Ikikus soldiers. Kill the orcs. Come on, help the green load, please. They're desperate. <laughs> we have what their capital is for population, which means their only city really is Rion. Uh, that's very unfortunate. They're very far from home. Two population left. I think their capital is going to fall. There's, I mean, I, 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 if you count this as not fallen yet, I guess. The orcs are beating up their windmill. No. I wonder if they're inside of it. Nope, there was nobody inside of it. <laughs> the Bob Moon's about to declare war on what and who, where, why? There's so many wars going on. The War of Justice against the Rid Brothers. Dude, the Rid. Wow. So the Rid Brothers, meaning the orcs, right? They're going up against the Great Ica the green load and now the bob moon are, is jumping in and then who is the kingdom holy you cook there's another one there's another rebellion in the northmen look at this what that's wild oh and they look scary too they got black roofs well that kind of looks cool actually and now they're dealing with the hoxes <laughs> i don't think they're gonna last very long the great show is slowly getting beaten back even more dwarvish soldiers are on the way to to fight them back without the northmen's allies i don't think the northmen would have survived that and here comes another rebellion too a meteor just hit the middle of this town I guess it wasn't the middle of the town. That's good, I, I think. <laughs> I wonder if it killed anybody. I'm sure it did. It's probably some farmers. The green low did lose their capital. That's rough, dude. That's so rough. Here comes some random human soldiers. Where are you guys even from? Oh, the Great Shu. Okay, they're going home to fight for their, their home. And these two orcish nations are planning war. And so is this dwarvish nation. Things are about to implode, I think. I mean, if, if you don't count this as already imploding, like what's even going on? Okay, so who are these guys planning war against? The Ba of Moon? Okay. The Utop Band is planning war against the the Bob Moon. The other Dwarvish nation is planning a war against the Bob Moon. And then the other Orcish nation is planning a war against the Rid Brothers, which means there'll be four nations against the Rid Brothers. <laughs> and I don't know why the Bob Moon would be targeted, but I guess, sure, why not? You know, when you're the Utop Band, you might as well kill them. It's a lot of AI nations fighting AI nations. The Holy Yakuk was destroyed. Okay, a ton of peace talks are all of a sudden a thing, which means the Great Shu is probably going to stick around if they uh, declare peace, because I believe this Dwarvish nation will actually declare peace for the entire alliance. And now the Bob Moon is getting targeted by two different nations. Oh, these arrows are getting complicated. Oh, and just added another arrow. Blood of Ogdes is also going for the Rid Brothers. There's no way the Rid Brothers is still alive. They've really lost very little. I mean, maybe not. Like, how many deaths between them, right? 416 deaths, 464 deaths, 164 deaths. Added up, that's quite a bit. However, the majority of the deaths was not on the orc side, which makes sense why they're still around. Wait! The Green Lord is one population! I think that's it! That's all of them. That's their entire empire. One population. Where? Where is the last elf? Is he a leader like can i find him there is that him behind this tree a helo he is the last green load member i'm a favorite him and i'm gonna watch him don't be don't hide behind a tree like everybody else does there he is he's revealed himself <laughs> yeah run to these orcs they'll raise you here comes his orcish little child friend where's the army that wants to kill him they're moving away they're going north he might live <laughs> what if he lives oh his empire is gone i think that means the green load's gone unless he rebuilds it he has home it's gone they destroyed the town kingdom green load so the kingdom lives on just through this child uh, uh, there's no other elvish nation for him to go join. And if he doesn't turn 18 right now and reestablish a city, then he's screwed. I guess we'll check up on a uh, Hilo in a moment. Good luck, little child. Stay alive, please. That'd be cool. I'm assuming the war's over. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Which means that he's not exactly a target for anybody. So he should be fine. And it looks like the Bob Moon just absolutely got destroyed. Uh, their capital is getting wrecked, annihilated, if you will, by multiple different armies. Look at this. 31 plus 40 plus 14. Oh, oh, and even up here. Okay, the Bob Moon was destroyed. That sucks. The Northman has regained a lot of territory. However, they did lose their northern territory up here as well. The Great Ich has rebelled, and they are now independent. Ooh, an earthquake just happened way down south here. Oh, taking out the Rid Brothers, destroying a decent amount of their stuff and things. Oh, it reached all the way up here. Yeah, it destroyed a lot of city, which means the Rid Brothers is finally falling, because it looks like the blood of Ogdas is actually taking them out right now, which of course it's another orcish nation to do it. Oh, the Great Ichigus is planning an alliance, but with who? Oh, the Lost Souls. Uh, <laughs> what? I guess so. What's even the point of that? They have 86 population. They're so tiny. I'd just go to war with them, take them over. It'd give the Lost Souls a better chance to be a bigger player. They've kind of gotten screwed up here. <laughs> the Green Load lives! They live on! Is this him? A Lilo? Oh, it's a she. My bad. My bad. Even the game's mad. <laughs> Hungry though, very hungry. Come on, come on, Ahilo. You got this. Build a farm, start feeding yourself. Pick up a mushroom and eat it. Build that tent or campfire, whatever you're building. Yes, dude, this is awesome. 
<laughs> yes, the resilience. The resilience right now. The green load. The comeback. Watch them come back and win it all. They will all be descendants of a Hilo. Please make a child. Please. Oh, the Great Show's also planning an alliance. Oh, they're joining an alliance. Our union. Holy crap, dude. Our union is so insane. They are huge. I really want our union to go to war against the orcs. I think it's the only option. Because the orcs are only getting stronger. And the orcs are not people you want to ignore and like get strong. Holy club was founded. Oh, holy club was dissolved. What? <laughs> I think the Holy Incagus just made a alliance with the Lost Souls and then dissolved it immediately. Bro. There we go. A Helo's got up a tent and a child! A child! A Asuna! The green load repopulates! How's your health looking? She's starving to death. That's not good, dude. Please make food. I can't intervene as much as I want to. If I wasn't making a series on this, you know how much food I'd be giving green load right now? What do you got with that bucket? Go pick up a mushroom or something and eat it. Go, go get something. Get something. Do something. What do you- I can't see what you're doing behind that tree. She's got berries or something mushrooms in the in the bucket <laughs> <laughs> Please just eat it. What, uh, uh, what does the kingdom have? Do they have food? Resources. They have mushrooms. They have one mushrooms. Eat it. Eat it, please. They, she ate it. Yes, she lives. 100 hunger. The green load will live on. <laughs> Whoa, crazy meteor strike up here. Hitting out Pavlion. Giving them some nice good old adamantine. Uh, oh, Kingdom Rid Brothers was destroyed. Whoa, okay. Which means the blood of Ogdas has united pretty much all of the orcs other than the Utop band. We need another rebellion from the orcs happen so the swarm can come back potentially. The swarm is actually leading this, but I, if I remember correctly, the swarm was still alive by the time these guys rebelled, so it can't be the swarm, sadly. It looks like the Great Should did successfully join the Alliance Our Union. Oh, and so did this Dwarvish Nation, which basically guarantees their survival. Really? If the Great Ikigus also joined it, and then they went to war against the orcs, that would be insane. It would basically be the entire map against the orcs. Ever since the plague went away, the world population has over doubled. The green load now with three population, and a Hilo being the king. Nice. Halo's built up this entire town, dude. Three tenths and a fourth on the way? That's pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. This dwarvish nation, which means that our union, is planning a war against who? The blood of Ogdas! <gasps> no way! That means they're all gonna go to war against the orcs? Holy crap, dude. No shot. That's 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 gonna change the game, dude. That puts some clans at risk. They all just are chilling with 14. They are all so successful. One of them is bound to collapse eventually. Oh no, the Great Ikigus is also going to war? What if they go to war against our union? No, the Utop Band! Whoa! So if they go to war against the Utop Band, and the rest of them go against the Blood of Ogdas, holy balls, dude! What if the orcs just get wiped off the face of the map? Oh, I want this to happen so bad. Like, look at these dwarvish armies, dude. 72, 50, 35. They're ready for war. The orcs have a ton of military as well. Well, though oh man oh i'm scared oh oh man i'm getting anxious over this the green load has four population now nice however it's still only a Leho as an adult oh five population as soon as some of the first children start growing up they'll be able to help build out the city and they will grow from there it looks like their it looks like their territory has been locked in and they're pretty tiny oh never mind they could expand it down here a little bit it's not a lot but it's something and since they have access to this water they could actually get some fish and everything oh that's so cool that they're rebuilding like that i guess the Mushroom Kingdom did the same thing, but we know how that turned out. It looks like the war is going to be successful. It's so close. Holy balls, dude. No, the Hoxus is going to have a rebellion. So is Great Ikigus. That throws everything out the window. Hopefully the swarm has a rebellion or something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And the war has commenced. Looking at the wars list, the bloody clash of Rocky Dumb. And it's all of these nations against these guys. With 885 soldiers and 2,178 population against 723 population and 229 soldiers. However, the orcs are much more powerful. So I bet this is way more fair than we think it is. But in order to see what happens in this war, I'm going to keep that for the next episode because I'm evil like that. <laughs> Looking at the clans, they are all still super mad vibing and the green load is rebuilding, which is just awesome. Can't wait to see what happens next. See you guys in the next video.